everybody! So this video is a little different from my normal content, but I think it's a perfect fit for my channel because it's all about pretty much this sweater, which I wear maybe too much. If you watch my vlogs, you're probably sick of seeing me wear it because I find an excuse to wear this every single day. And the reason I'm doing this video in partnership with Downy is to talk to you about how to wash your sweaters, your knits, your natural fibers, how to take care of those things at home. So before I jump into the demo, uh, showing you how to both machine wash and hand wash your knits at home, I wanna talk about why it's important to use fabric conditioner. So it's kind of the same concept as how you wash your hair. When you wash your hair, you shampoo, and then you condition. Well, it's the same thing when you wash your clothes. You're not shampooing, of course, you're using laundry detergent in, when you wash them and you also need to follow up with a fabric conditioner. It protects against things. The first thing is fading, which is you know very important, especially in your um, darker pigmented clothing. It, it holds onto that dark pigment longer for you so you don't get that fading, like especially in black jeans or dark navy jeans. That's always a thing for me. Is it protects against fuzzing or the fuzzy stuff you get when you wash your sweaters over and over again. So overall, it's just, it's a protectant for your clothing. It gets, extends your wear and gives you your money's worth out of the clothes. All right, so now let's get into the actual fun part. Let me walk you through the two different ways you can take care of your sweaters at home. The first one is machine washing. So what's really important before you dive into this is make sure that the label on your clothing actually says that it's all right to machine wash your clothing. First thing you wanna do is pick what cycle to wash your clothing in and Washing machines vary from machine to machine, but generally you're looking for a gentle cycle, a hand wash cycle, a delicate cycle, the, whatever cycle agitates the clothing the least amount. And you also want to select the cold temperature. Those just tend to go hand in hand. So put, the, put your laundry in, measure the detergent. Um, I am a huge fan of Tide. I have pretty much used Tide my entire life. My mom used Tide. It's just what I've been raised on. Uh, usually I use the Tide pods and they have been a lifesaver for my son who's away at college because he doesn't have to measure the detergent. But when I'm doing um, the delicate cycle, I tend to use something that I can measure. And for that, I'm using Tide Free and Gentle. Great for the delicate cycle. All right, so you've got it set on your gentle or delicate setting. You've got it set to cold water. You've added your detergent. Now we add the fabric conditioner. One other thing I do wanna point out is if the items are particularly delicate or they have a lot of embellishments or beading or loose parts to them, go ahead and put them in some sort of mesh bag just to protect against further agitation in the wash. Now you hit start, let the machine do the work for you. And then when it comes time to dry your clothes, I like to dry my uh, sweaters flat. I don't have a particularly large drying area in my laundry room, so for me, I just lay them flat on the floor of my bathtub or even the floor of my shower stall, and they're good to go. All right, now let's go through the rules of the road for hand washing. Not all that different, it's just this time you get to do all the work yourself. So the first thing is pick a sink. I'm using my bathroom sink because I don't have a laundry sink. So you just fill your sink up with cold water, add a tiny little bit of detergent to that, and then put your garment in there, fully submerge it in the water, and let it soak for 15 minutes. Now pull the garment out, drain the sink, fill it back up with new fresh water, put your garment back in there, and add a little bit of downy fabric conditioner to the sink water. And now you're gonna be the agitator. Take your hands, get them in there, agitate for about three to five minutes just to make sure that the fabric conditioner is fully worked into all the garments that are in there. Again, do not wring or twist your, your sweater or your knits, whatever's in there, not recommended. Uh, then you're gonna drain the sink and just rinse the garment fully under clean, cool water. How do you dry it? Because it doesn't have a spin cycle in your sink, you just take your garment out and lay it flat on a nice fluffy towel. And what you're gonna do is envelop it in the towel and just kind of roll it in there to press the water out of the excess water, out of the garment. You might have to do this a few times. It's really rather cathartic. And then we finish the same way we did with our machine wash. I just lay mine flat in my bathtub. It's very glamorous. So there you have it. Either machine wash or hand wash. Both are really easy to do. The key is using the downy fabric conditioner. It's that extra step that really adds a big difference to the quality of your clothing, to the longevity of your clothing. And I might say it, it smells really nice too. So anyway, I'd love to know your tips, your suggestions. Have you tried this at home? What do you think? Please leave those in the comments below. Thank you again to Downey for sponsoring this video. Um, I look forward to 